Hi all, this is Gautam for PJ Spot. In this video, we are going to see about data link layer, which is nothing but a layer 2 of OEC model. Let's get into the video. First of all, what is a data link layer? It is a layer 2 of OSA model. The unit that has been used in data link layer is to be as a frames. That's why we normally call it as a Ethernet frames. And this is the layer where the Ethernet frame lives. And data link layer has main two sub layers which is nothing but a logical link control and media access control. What is the logical control and media access control? Logical link control, uh, usually what does it do means it just checks for error detection in the frames, which nowadays uh, it has been done by the TCP layer itself. So um, we don't care about a LLC. There is a logical link control in nowadays. We, uh, we just go into the MAC address. That is a MAC layer now. What is a MAC layer? It is nothing but a media access layer. Uh, every device on the LAN or um, is a has a unique identifier which is nothing but a mac address the mac address is unique universally there is no two mac address will be the same one of the thing the mac address gives a major advantage is that it it is taking care of a channel access what does the channel access mean we just check into the next slide uh, this makes it possible so computers connected to the same physical medium um, can access and share the data this is what a channel access mean uh, what is a single that is the same physical medium means if you want to know means just look at this if you have a computers that has been two or three computers that has been connected to a same coaxial cable this uh, way of representing that this way of um, what to say this way of the physical medium connection is what normally what we call as to be as a hop duplex uh, in this mode at there will be only one computer could share a data or one computer could receive data that's what it will happen if two computers at the same time they could uh, try to send or receive data what will happen it will end up in collision and data loss there will be no data will be transmitted in order to overcome this the ethernet has a special protocol that is what we call as a csma slash cd which is nothing but carrier sends multiple axis and collision detection what does that mean a uh, carrier sends as the name uh, says it just senses that is it listens to any other device is being transmitting or any other device has been sending uh, data or frames whatever it be it just senses suppose uh, if any data is been sending what does it do it will just stop sending any packets from its um, ethernet from its ethernet port and waits for the process gets completed and then it will send so it helps to avoid um, it helps to avoid a collision and uh, protects the data and uh, helps to avoid a uh, data loss this is what a csma slash cd does let's look into the ethernet frame what does the ethernet frame looks like it has a certain set of headers could you just look into it means uh, it has a source and destination which is nothing but a source and destination mac address the source address is the concerned output from where it has to go is to be as a source address and destination address it is to the remote host destination address what is a preamble and sof these are said to be as um, preamble and a start of frame delimiter which tells the ethernet frame that is a data link layer some packet has been coming inside to us that's the process of uh, preamble and sof next is the destination and source that is just a mac address and a length how much length the ethernet frame has and 802 header and a data means um this is where the logical link control lives in, in the ethernet frame um this is the place where the data and the logical link control that is the llc we just check for error detection right that will be fits in and fcs is the place where it checks for the whether any frames or any data has been corrupted or it is okay for the next process this is this is what the ethernet frame uh, looks like next uh, we just move on to the characteristics of mac what does a mac address looks like it is just a 48 bit address uh, it has been represented in a hexadecimal format while uh, if you look into the ip address it is just a decimal format this here the mac is a hexadecimal format um, could you just see an example of it this is a uh, one of the um, example of mac address out of 48 bit address it has been divided into two as 24 bit and another 24 bit in this the uh, first 24 bit have been given by the main organization to the vendor whether it be a uh, cisco or hcl or whatever be the brand that have uh, been using it will be given to them so that every unique brand they are manufacturing they will have a unique uh, to a first 24 bit they will be having a first 24 bit to be unique and the next 24 bit is to be assigned to the host that has been assigned to the PCs or laptops or whatever it be it has been different next 24 bit will be different and the first 24 bit will be the uh, mostly the same for all the MAC address for the concerned company 
next um we can know the, the ip address if you try to reach from one host to the other host you know the ip address and you are pinging whether it is reachable or not reachable you can get it but how does the um, mac address of the concerned pc will get know in order to know about a mac address we are just using a protocol called as the art which is nothing but a address resolution protocol how does it works let's look into it um suppose consider two pcs a and b suppose a wants to communicate with b what does it do first initially app sends a broadcast frame since it doesn't have any idea about what is uh, what is the mac address of the uh, b so it just send a broadcast frame uh, consider to be as a broadcast as fffff and it um, what does it um, p means in the plain english means uh, host a will ask who has 192.168.1.2 .2 and what's your mac address that's what a host a will ask and a host b will reply with a unique cast to the concerned pc which asks is yeah that's me i am having 192.168.1.2 and this is my mac address that's what it replied to the host a if you want to get a more clear explanation in the sense you can just look into it here if suppose host a wants to um send a ping to uh, 192.168.1.2 .2 means uh, it doesn't have any idea about a mac address so what does it do it uses the arp resolution protocol it just send a broadcast frame so what does it ask what does it ask in the sense means who has uh 192.168 1.2 and what's the mac address and what is your mac address this is what it asks and the concerned pc will reply consider it here to be as a switch in the ethernet port 1 and with the uh this is port 2 and another pc is been connected to be with the port number 3 and here another computer is been connected to port number 4 let's get back to it it will just ask uh, who has 192.168.1.2 and what's your mac address so the frame will be given to all other ports of the switch it will be given to all other ports except the port that it has been received that here in the sense it has been received on port number 1 so it will not broadcast to port number 1 other than port number 1 it will be given to all other ports so it will be given uh, get into the port number 2 3 and 4 so the pc with the ip address of 192.168.1.2 .2. here it is this pc host b it will reply back to uh, host a it will be in the form of unicast yeah it's me it will reply yes it's me and it's my mac address and it's my mac and it will reply with this mac address it's my mac address so this will be stored in the uh, database of the switch here so what does it will uh, next time when it wants to reach this concerned 192.168.1.2 it will not send a broadcast frame it will stores the data in the switch and it will automatically be uh, send a unicast frame if i want to ping 192.168.1.2 means it will directly send from here to one um, port number 2 it will not send a broadcast frame to 3 and 4 because as it stores the data it will directly be sent this is how the arp resolution protocol works and that's it this is about a data link uh, this is all about a data link layer thanks for watching Until next time.